just washed you. I love horses so much. And you know, you just hit the wire while you're at it, because that's safe. Hello everyone, and welcome to me filming on my phone finally. I've been filming so many main channel videos, not that this isn't, but videos where I've been using my good camera and I hate using it because it's just so many components. Whereas when I use my phone, it's just like, whip it out and start filming only problem is my phone like always goes out of battery really fast so that's an issue when i runs out of battery today i'm taking the horses to the show jumping state championships it's already fairly late in the day it is the afternoon i just finished riding pino and he was really excited i'm finally starting to see the more race horse side of him because i literally had no idea how he possibly could have been a racehorse before because he was just like the most lazy horse I'd ever ridden. Literally the most lazy. Oh, probably on par with others. But yeah, he is a very lazy horse, or he was. But now he's feeling so good. He looks like a completely different horse to when I first got him. And today I was just taking him for a little like a little trot and can trot hills sort of day like taking him out of the arena and I've only really been riding him twice a week because it's been competition season for the other two and Jerry and Dexter have literally been going to shows every week so they've been doing heaps lately so yeah Jerry and Dexter have been in full work so Pino's kind of taken the back seat and also he was unsound before Kikaudi Park Horse Trials because of his soft soles because he wasn't fed properly last year. That really brittle part of his hoof is currently at the bottom so he really struggles with soft soles. But that being said, I think they'll be like quite strong when they grow down. So that's good. So I rode him he like actually did some like oh let's go canter but the funny thing is he'll be like that and then you'll start cantering him and he'll go literally the slowest canter ever so you're like what but i need to now wash jerry i'm gonna give him a day off because i like him to be fresh before show jumping shows because i just find him more rideable and he wants to clear them more and also Dexter, I gotta wash him and then I'm gonna take him down or take them both down and then ride Dexter down there so he can do the arena familiarization because he is a little bit crazy in there and sometimes it's just like new places, not good. So these guys are gonna have a fun three days. Jerry loves jumping so much. I haven't been putting too much work into either of them in the middle of the week because, well, for the last two weeks because it's just show jumping. They don't need to be fully conditioned for the eventing starts and stuff because I'm just gonna take like a month kind of break because this is gonna be the fifth weekend in a row that I'm doing a two day show. So or well, three day show this time so I'm kind of running myself into the ground and everything else in my life has had to take the back bench. That's what's going on. I'm gonna try to quickly clean this disgusting animal and then try to clean Dex which will be an even more disgusting animal. Ooh, bit of blur effect. Huh, that was fancy. Anyway, I've just wet down the horse. I have sponged him off with a medicated shampoo which I've been using because I've run out of the stuff that I normally use. I threw it over there and I put Just Baby oil in his tail. I'm just going to rinse him off and then I am going to wash him again with conditioner and his tail with conditioner and then we're going to be good. And I'm not going to bother plaiting him up because it's show jumping and I'm lazy. Get ready to watch a horse moving around because Jerry does not like water being splashed on him. He likes running through it but not on him. Yeah. 
And now I am going to squeegee it off with a, or scrape it off with a scraper. I actually use a car one because I prefer the that, like the straight one than the curved ones. I don't know, I don't know why, I just find it like is easier to use for me and it's not like it really affects him or anything. I thought he was semi-clean and then I just squeegeed him and it's disgusting. So apparently he's not clean, classic courses. And the other reason why I like this is because I find the curved ones break so easily when they stand on them and stuff. So this one has lasted a lot longer than the others. And then I like using one of these brushes to really get into the coat. I'm gonna show you the most vineyard thing ever in a second. <laughs> Just vineyard things, like a giant harvester. Moving through most days at the moment because it's the middle of harvest or the end of harvest really. And the horses just don't care anymore at all. You just care about the water, don't you? You just don't like the water. And that's Jerry's thing. He clucks his lips when he's like slightly annoyed or nervous or bored. That's just Jerry. He does it with a farrier as well. So Jez is now done. I hate how long it takes to do horses, to wash horses. It takes forever. And then when you've got three and then you've got a competition with all three, you're like, well, cool. Can't wait to do this another two times. But thankfully, and also not thankfully because I could just be doing Jerry, I have only one other horse. So that's good. So I'm just gonna put a cooler rug on him now and just let him stand here so he doesn't get absolutely disgustingly dirty in the paddock. So I'm just gonna leave him here while I go get Dex and then I'll wash Dex and Jez, and Jez can just kind of stand here while I wash Dexter and he can dry without getting disgustingly dirty again. So both boys are now washed. Now I just have to put this hay bale in. I don't know why I still have my helmet on. And I have done their feeds. I need to put them in their feed buckets and water buckets and I need to feed the baby, where is he? There, behind the G. And I think that's it. There was something else. Obviously put the car on and everything. I'm slightly concerned because I cannot spend any money, but there's gonna be so many trade stands. So I'm like, great. But yeah, I can't spend anything because I've literally, I'm literally putting all my money into HLH clothing line, so. I can't spend anything for the next like month. So I'm like, <laughs> please no good trade stands, please. Yes, I'm looking fabulous right about now. All of my helmet hair. I put minimal makeup on this morning and it's all rubbed off and I had dirt on my face earlier so I had to rub it off. All of that glory is this. I'm driving down bumps in the float, or in the car with the float, and the two horses, and I'm following her in my car, so we have two cars because I'm going to be staying somewhere else. I'm sorry about the whistling sound in the background of these car videos, car clips. I, <laughs> I always look back and I'm like, how did I not notice that, but like, I'm immune to it now. My car sunroof or something on the front of the car, something to do with either the sunroof 
for the roof racks makes that whistling noise and I'm just like because I drive this car all the time I'm immune to it now and it drives everyone else insane except for me when I and I only ever notice it when someone else is in my car and I like I'm hyper aware of the silence and just like this whistling noise I'm cheap okay so I have the wettest feet in eternity after washing the horses and it feels disgusting so I've had like the heater on full blast even though it is warm. I am so depressed because the shoes that I've been using all summer and I got in America and was using in America too around the horses have almost died. They're like sketches shoes and they're like the comfiest shoes in the world. Remember Crocs? I like lived in Crocs because they were so comfortable when I was a kid and then I was like okay this is a bit much when I got to like the age of like 13. So I had like uncomfortable shoes after that and then I found these sketches and they like looked really nice and they're so comfortable it's like literally like pretty much a sock on the top of the shoe and then on the bottom it's like a shoe. Unfortunately however they seem to have died very quickly and they are very not waterproof so my feet are soaking wet so i'm looking for suggestions of shoes to get instead particularly for winter and i'm thinking hunter like short hunter boots they have some like super cute looking fashionable kind of looking short waterproof hunter boots and you can get them in black and they just look like super cute except I have a pair of hunter boots and mum's had a pair of hunter boots and for a pair of 150 plus dollar wellingtons or gum boots I don't know what they're called in America but anyway for a pair of very expensive ones I would expect them to last like five plus years but mum went through two pairs in five years I mine have leaks all over them. I've had them for probably about five years now though. And I'm kind of like, do I want to spend like around a hundred dollars for a pair of waterproof boots that'll probably only be waterproof for like two years? But then they're like really fashionable too. I feel like big companies like Ralph Lauren and Tommy Hilfiger and Hunter Boots and all those sort of like original companies, I feel like they used to be incredibly good quality and everything was like worth the money but now they just kind of whack a price on them and it's like you're paying for the brand and also like the fashion of it but they're just like not super good quality anymore but that being said I do still really like a lot of those brands clothing and I buy it but I'm like I I like my shirts that I sell, well currently just shirts for other things as well soon. My shirts that I sell are like $40 and they're literally exactly the same, if not better quality, well definitely better quality than Ralph Lauren and Tommy Hilfiger and I can sell them for 40 and they sell them for like 100 in Australia. In America it's a lot different, it's about the same sort of prices. I know probably like $50 in America but in Australia they're like you want a t-shirt from this well-known brand uh, 80 plus dollars so it's like and then people get them for 50 and they're like wow this is so affordable and I'm like yeah. watching the little guys go that K1 on the back I put it on freehand and it's pretty uneven it's like fairly straight but then it's just too high up and it looks really silly and then I think I will put hlhequestrian.com 